Hey Liz, this is Brett with My Music Lessons. Today we're going to work on kind of a walkthrough of flagpole sitta. And it's going to look like this in the key of D. Uh, I'll start you off from the, the intro, which is D on an 8 count, to an E on an 8 count, a C on an 8 count, and then we're going to do this little melody line walk down from here, here, here. That's a G note, F sharp note, D note. Um, and that's the, that's our intro. Then once we get into the verse, that's actually pretty cool. D two three four five six seven eight up to an A six seven eight and then C B C D and then we're gonna throw that melody line in again and then repeat the whole thing. line. Here's our chorus. So I'll repeat that again. Um, it's D. I'm not sick, but I'm not well. And I'm so high. Coming in. So it does that whole part two times back to your verse progression and just to review that verse was D two three four five six seven eight A and then C B C D and then it walks through the melody and then repeats that section again so you've got the intro you've got the verses you've got the choruses down the last part here is going from the chorus into the bridge so after the D you just slide up to an A on the 12th fret and then include a power chord right a ring finger or pinky finger there and then it's, we're going to do down strums on that, then down two frets, down two more, and then to the fifth fret and seventh fret, then back up to that A power chord with the pinky underneath, and you're going to strum the bottom of three, down to the tenth fret, same power chord shape, down to the eighth fret, back up to the tenth fret, and tenth and twelfth, and then now we're just staying on that D note, then open D note, and then we're back up into our, our chorus section again. So just to walk through that, if you like mentally practice it, just think from the chorus, A5 power chord, G5, F5, D5, A5 again with the pinky, G5 with the pinky, F5 with the pinky, back to the G5 with the pinky, Keep the ring finger on, on the D note, 12th fret, open D string, and then you're back into your chorus section again, okay? So that's just how, that's how you can mentally walk through the bridge, and you've got the other parts down, so have fun practicing.